Hello and welcome to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Dragon Quest Builders 2. I am your host Lord Fett and in today's Dragon Quest 2 Builders uh, Guide I'm going to show everybody how to farm unlimited cotton. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dragon Quest Builders 2 content like this. Now obviously you want some good armor class on you. The further the chapters that's the better. However the weapons the further the chapters you get in the game better. However poison needle is a great way to farm with because if you get lucky on killing the uh, target we're going to show everybody, it'll die in one hit. Now, we're going to go to the uh, captain right here. You want to go on the, one of the Explorer Islands. Now, Explorer Islands are uh, excellent for farming materials since they do respawn after you go back to the Island of Awakening. And plus, if you do the uh, scavenger hunt there, you get unlimited supplies. Unfortunately, cotton is not one of them. So what we are going to do right now is I'm going to show everybody Zack Island where to uh, go in the uh, video. So that will be the first step. This is the island right here, Iridescent Island. Now, why are you asking that? Well, there is a creature that has a 100% drop rate. It is the Red Caterpillar. Yes, this is the island we're actually uh, go to. You're wondering, why should I uh, go to this island? Instead, there's playing in Chapter uh, 2 and 3. Well, Chapter 3, uh, you have to actually kill enemies 4, and Chapter 2, there's only a limit supply. Now, the Iridescent Island has unlimited supply, that's why we're uh, doing that. So, get on the boat, pick Iridescent Island, and off you uh, go. Now, once you do arrive here, you're going to be looking for an uh, enemy called Red Caterpillar. So, just remember, this is very easy to find. So, these islands are random, but I'm going to show everybody an example of them. And what's the target, and... uh how to fight one off. So just do like I'm doing is glide your way over here. Yep, just keep on gliding and we're going to look for a red caterpillar in the video. And I'm going to show everybody what they look like exactly and what their uh, drop rate is. This is a great place to farm that and more. This island also has rubies if you need those naughty uh, lanterns. So right now I'm going to the uh, snapshot mode, show everybody the foe we're going to be fighting. This is the red caterpillar right here. It breathes fire and does some kind of swing attack. Now, if you have higher armor class on your character, you'll do fine. Again, use weapons that are powerful. That's good. Now, if you have the poison needle, that's even better. Because if you could get a connection on the red caterpillar and it does uh, go off, the red caterpillar does die in one hit. So keep on wailing on this red caterpillar until uh, cotton drops. This is a 100% drop rate. You can farm this for hours. See right there, there is one piece of cotton right there. What I am going to do next is I'm going to go and farm the uh, area for an hour and then I'll uh, be back after the hour is over and done with. After I farm this for an hour, I have over 150 uh, stacks of cotton. Yes, you'll get over 150 per hour. You might get more than me, you might get less than me. Still, you'll be really lucky. So this is the uh, area right here, Iridescent Island. Just keep on farming that for an hour and that's it. Now, if you need more, then just keep on farming it until you don't need it. Make sure you do bring supplies such as food and healing materials just in case you run into trouble. And don't forget to save on each farmings. Well, that is it for my Dragon Quest II Builder's uh, Guide, How to Farm Unlimited Cotton. This is uh, Lord Fitton signing off. Please like comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.